Hello and welcome to the Weebly Does What web series. Today I'm going to show you a couple of tips for actually editing your web page. First of all, at the top of the page, wherever you are, you need to come back to the Build tab to actually build your page. We've already discussed how you add pages, but to actually edit them, you have to come back to the Build section. To see how your website will look on a mobile device, simply come over here, click it, and click Mobile. That way you can see how each page on your website will look on a mobile device. So you see these are all the little things I added, and this is how it would look on a mobile device. Sometimes you can edit this. It will tell you right here if you can. So with this theme, I cannot edit it because it's a responsive theme. What that means is all of the elements will look good and look kind of proportional on a device. So you don't have to edit it. Again, I will come back to build to edit my page. Another thing is with the navigation, when you're ready to edit each page, you have to click on the page in the navigation. Right now I'm on the home page. So if I wanted to edit the about page, I'm going to click on about. If I wanted to edit the contact page, I would click on that. If I had sub pages, I would also click on the sub pages to actually edit the page. Another tip I want to give you is if you add something like a picture and you resize it and you put it in the center, if you go and link it to anything, a web page or a file, sometimes when you do that, it will resize itself. So if it does that, don't get frustrated. Just go and size it again. Okay. Also, when you come and you add another element, not all the time, but sometimes the picture will go back to the left. That The picture is not really going back to the left. If you click on it, you'll see that it's still center justified. For some reason, it just does that you'll see that it's still in the center. If you publish it, it will still be in the center. So don't let that scare you or make you frustrated. So I just wanted to definitely show you that. Same thing when you're putting text and you highlight it and link it. It may look a little crazy, but if you publish it and look at the site and it looks good, then you are all good. There's nothing to worry about. And then one last thing is if for some reason you are trying to edit something it doesn't look like it should. For example, if you come to the picture and this little resize image, little blue thing is not here and you're like, well, what's going on? Always just refresh your page. If you refresh your page, it's going to uh, refresh, come back normal, and you'll be just fine. Now, when you refresh, sometimes it goes back to the home page, so you will have to go find your page again, but all of your elements and all of your editing tools will be working just like normal. So that's just another little tip for you, just in case something looks a little odd and it doesn't look like it's working normally. So I wanted to give you those couple of tips about Weebly just to ease your mind and make sure that you are doing everything that you need to do to make a beautiful website. Thank you for watching and have a great day.